Welcome to my office craft room. Today we're going to actually do a craft. I found this Paw Prince keepsake for 50% off at Petco. It was in the back of the store near the dog food. They have uh, a bin of stuff that's just discounted. Usually it's like leftover holiday stuff. And I found this in there. They had two and I wish I would have bought both of them because I'd like to do one for Skye and one for Shorty. I thought this would be a lot of fun to do and then just have it hanging on my wall. So we are going to open it up. It says it includes three ribbons. Um, I put a, a tag on here to remind me. It said that the regular price was $9.99. Um, I ended up paying $4.53. So that's not too bad for a little keepsake. You're supposed to create a lasting impression of your pet's paw print. And there's three steps. It includes everything here. I also bought at Walmart some rhinestone because I thought at the end it would be fun to decorate it. I want to paint it and then decorate it. I think that'd be really fun. So first we have to make it. It says, I already opened it up because I wanted to take a peek and see what all was into it, what all I would need. It says it's going to take 48 hours for it to dry. So this is going to be the first part of it. It'll be all one video, but for me it's going to be two parts, two days to do this. So we have to let it dry for two days. And I'm sure it'll dry really fast because it's been in the high 90s, almost 100 degrees all week disgusting I know I keep complaining about the weather but we're not used to this heat this early in the summer it's crazy I live in Portland Oregon for a reason it's not supposed to be this dang hot if I wanted it this dang hot I'd go live somewhere near the desert Whew, anyway so let's get the directions I, I have a, a towel here I've got some Reynolds wrap aluminum foil my cutting board I have a wet rag and I have a glass of water just in case um, I need to close that and get my mouse out of the way to give me a little more room on my desk here my goodness I hope the lighting is okay in here it, oh, it kind of sucks I miss filming in my normal filming area in the living room with my Disney wall behind me but it's so blue oh so blasted hot down there yeah it kind of sucks only having air conditioning upstairs. I would love to have central air, but ugh, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. Today's video, we're making a paw print keepsake with Shorty's Paws. Um, let's see. Step one, place aluminum foil, which is not included, on a flat object such as a book. Well, I'm not going to do that to any of my books. I have a cutting board here that we're gonna use. So let me do that really quick. We'll put some of this foil on there. Let's chuck that behind me out of the way. I don't know if it matters which side. I'm gonna go matte side up. I'll just kinda wrap it around the cutting board. Okay. Something like that. Uh, next step, we are going to knead the impression material blah, 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 for two to three minutes. Okay, this is air drying impression material. Important. Do not open foil bag until ready for use. Knead impression material for approximately one minute. It should be a clean, smooth consistency. Place impression material on a piece of aluminum foil when rolling out. Roll impression material to approximately one third inch thick, wet hand or foot before pressing into impression material. Allow the finished print to air dry in a cool dry area for approximately 48 hours. Do not heat or bake. Please carefully follow detailed directions. It says to not heat or bake. I can't help it if I put it Anywhere that's not upstairs, it's going to heat. <laughs> I better take my ring off. I don't want to get... Never mind. I forgot with the heat, my finger swells and my ring is stuck. Okay, well, hopefully I don't get stuck. Stuff stuck in my ring. 
It is what it is. Okay, let's just do this. Opening this up. Okay. Interesting so far. I don't want to take it out of the packaging and knead it. Oh, that feels weird. For two to three minutes or until it's got a smooth consistency. Okay. Something like that. I have no idea if I'm doing it wrong or I'm sorry. If this is new to me. Feels smooth. It, you know, feels kind of like gum a little bit, but not sticky. Um, okay, that's probably good enough. It comes with a little rolling thing. I'll leave the ribbons in there. I don't need those until the very end, which will be in two days from now. So I'm going to roll it out. I, I probably should have brought my actual rolling pin. But I'm going to speed this up. See you in a few minutes. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow. I'm reaching out, but all I feel is how low. I want to make you work. Okay, now that it's rolled out, it says to take this and put it in the stuff. So I'm going to push it down. Okay. And I'm going to move away the, the outer stuff that we're not going to need. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Probably not. Here, let me move the camera. Okay, it says to leave the ring. I remember reading that somewhere. Roll the impression material until smooth and flat. Make sure it is thick enough in order to get a good impression. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Wet paw and press paw into the impression material and remove. So I gotta get shorty. I've got some leftover stuff that I thought about doing something with, but nah. It wasn't that much, so. I decide I want to do this again. I'll just buy another one. So that'll be garbage. So I'm going to go get Shorty and put her little paw prints in this. Be right back. Okay, I, I widened up the shot. Hopefully this works. Shorty is going to freak out. I got to get her <gasps> foot wet. I just spilled water all over my lap. What a doofus. All right. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, sweetie. Mommy's a dingleberry. Yes, I just said dingleberry. Get your foot wet. Okay, honey. We're going to put one foot right there. Give it a nice push. Oh, she's freaking out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. One more time, honey. Good girl. Okay, I promise to give you treats. Good girl. Okay, lift up. Yay! That turned out really good. Let me wipe your feet. Oh, sweetie. Mm, good job. there's her paw prints. That turned out really, really good. So I'm thinking about putting her name maybe here, and then we're going to put a hole there to put a ribbon in there. How adorable. I did get ahead of myself a little bit. Step five, it says to use the circle trim edges of the impression. And then, yeah, I'm supposed to do that after the paw print is in there, but I got ahead of myself, so that's okay. It's still, it's fine. So I'm going to poke a hole in it for my ribbon, and then I think that'll be it for today. It says to 
leave completed print in the shaping tool on the foil or wax paper to dry for eight to ten hours and then carefully flip impression over to allow the bottom to sa sa bleh, the bottom side to dry total drying time may take up to two to three days Ooh. and then we'll come back and we will remove the ring and add the string paint it no we'll add the string last we'll paint it we'll mod podge it we'll bedazzle it with those rhinestones and then add the the ribbon and hang it on the wall i'm so excited so the last thing for today will be putting the hole in it so here we go I also want to put Shorty's name in it on the bottom, so that'll be the last part. All I do is make you worse. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow. Don't you want to come on over? That's going to do it for part one of this. So I will be back in 48 hours, so two days for me. Just a matter of seconds for you because of the magical power of editing. Stay tuned for the the rest of the video where I will be painting, mod podging, and rhinestoning the rest of the keeps. Like, I can't wait to finish it. It's going to be so cute. Oot. All right. See you in a little while. I'm back and I have a confession to make. It's been more than 48 hours. Um, I know the last clip you guys saw, I said I'd be back in two days. Well, whoops. <laughs> It ended up getting really, really hot here in Portland. We had a heat wave. It was heat that we're not used to. And uh, I didn't feel like doing anything. So I put this on hold. It's been almost two weeks now <laughs> since I started this. But on the plus side, it's nice and dry. So there's that. And here is what it turned out like. I hope the ring light's not like white washing it. Well, that looks really good. It feels like rubber. So it didn't get like hard, hard like uh, clay would do, which is what I thought. I thought it'd be like a ceramic plate, but no, it's, it's rubbery. So today I am going to paint it. I'm thinking I'm going to paint the whole thing black. So this, this part's going to take me a while. I'm going to paint the whole thing black, let that dry. Then I have to come back and I want to go over the paw prints and Shorty's name in, I'm thinking pink. I picked pink because she's a girl. And then I have to let that dry. And then I have to do a layer of Mod Podge just to seal the paint to protect it and then uh, it gives it a nice gloss coat because I use a glossy Mod Podge and it'll be finished once the Mod Podge dries and nope there's more to it I forgot I have rhinestones so it'll be finished after I add the rhinestones I'm going to do rhinestones around the outer rim and then add a, a bow to the top I think I don't know I won't know until I get to that part so anyway right now I'm gonna paint I'm using a really small table normally I would pull out the big table from the garage but I didn't feel like going out in the garage because it's really hot out there so I'm gonna make do with my little TV table here so I've got the rhinestones but I don't need those until later I've got the Gorilla Glue for the rhinestones which I don't need until later the ribbon, I don't need that until later. The container for the rhinestones. So basically right now all I need is the black paint and the paw print ornament. So everything else can go back in the box. Um, let's see, I want 
a big brush for that. So these smaller brushes can go in there. The pink paint could go in there. I'll just set that down on the floor. I have a towel here just in case. I think I'm going to use the aluminum, aluminum, that is hard to say, aluminum foil underneath just to protect my surface since it's already used. I might as well continue using it and let's get started. Oh, there's not a whole lot of paint in here. I hope that there's enough to cover at least the front. We don't care what the back looks like, although I do want to seal up the back to protect it longer, you know, long, longer lifespan that way. So let's do this. Pour out some paint. And we might be able to make it work. We'll see. You never know. Oh, hey, coffee. Hmm. I am going to turn on some 80s music while I paint and probably speed this up so you guys will have a little time lapse so then this video is not two hours long. So enjoy the time lapse. hours later I'm finally done and it turned out pretty cute look at that so cute it's probably washing out with the ring light so I will take a picture and I'm gonna post it to Shorty's Instagram account so if you want to see a better look at it go to Shorty's Instagram I'm very happy with it. It turned out really cute. It took a lot of work. Man, gluing the little gemstones was a pain in the butt. Like the pink ones that I used, they had sticky on them because they're like little sticker gems. But the silver ones, I had to apply glue and I got glue all over my fingers. I didn't have proper tools. I should have used like tweezers or something I don't know to to pick them up so I didn't get glue everywhere but you know you'll live you learn not too bad for first time ever doing this 
I'm really pleased with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse watching me painting and creating a keepsake of Shorty's Paw Prints. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.